we have had this EV, this Chevy Bolt 2019 electric car for almost a week. What's the consensus, my dear? I like it. Mm -hmm. It's not a Jeep. It's not a cheap? Jeep. Oh, it's not a Jeep. Uh, no, it's definitely no, not I a Jeep. I like it. Uh, there's some things that you need to know about this young lady in that she is definitely not an indoor girl. They don't need to know that. Uh, they don't? No. You don't need to talk about the car. Um, yeah. So, um, it, if if it was painted red and it had off-road tires, would it be more attractive? Well, <laughs> this car? Yeah. Uh, yeah I, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, you know, although the Jeep, uh, take a note of this, you need to make an electric Wrangler. Because that would be awesome. just rocking. Uh, I would uh, I would buy that in a hot second. I know you're probably working on it. I know you can't speculate on future, future product. But I'm just saying. But I can wait. Yeah, we can wait. Because we'll be here. We'll be waiting. on going on a bike ride today. We're not doing that now. Well, we were planning on it yesterday, too. We even had the bikes on the truck. <laughs> right. Plans change. you got to roll with things. But today, we're going to go have coffee with Eric and Celeste up at Trancus just to kind of start the day. But then what are we doing after that? We're going to the Giving Museum mm -hmm. with Sean, Isla, Abigail, and Bob. And Bob. And all you guys. Yeah. If you haven't been to the Getty, uh, today is your lucky day because you get in free.
Happy birthday to you. you. I think I have food in my teeth though. You do? No. Nope. Famous Ames cookies. Hi Susie. Hi. Thank you. Good but rides. you missed my best way. I was sleeping. I'm sorry. But I got your other one. That was good. The crash? Oh, the first one. Oh. <laughs> Soggy. Walking on the pier, going out to Malibu Farm, get some treats. It's quite an extraordinary day. Check out this view. Good, like my shirt, check that out. This is a shirt Kathy picked up for me when she was in Hawaii, when she went and had that excursion, you remember that vlog. Now we have a few things to go over, uh, quick, as quickly as I can. Uh, number one, here is a car show that's happening that my sister is involved with, it's up in Ventura. It's uh, put on by the Coachman of Ventura. It's on September 9th, this coming Sunday from 10 to 2. You should check it out. It's at the Brookdale Senior Living Facility. It benefits Alzheimer's Association, which is what my sister does. So it's a good thing. If you got nothing to do on Sunday, uh, you should go and visit this. 6000 Santa Rosa Road. Check it out. Bolt EV. I've been saying it's a 2019. It's not. It's a 2018. I don't know what came over me. I guess I'm excited about the future or something like that. This particular bolt that they sent me, it was in uh, burnt, burnt orange, ex or orange explosion, orange outburst, out, uh, I, I do know it's 37,400 bucks. Um, you know what? I think that's a pretty good deal considering what it is. It's a small car, you know, a small car to go, but it packs a big punch. It gets a whopping 238 miles on a charge, although it said 300 on mine. In fact, it's a little bit more. You know, for someone who lives in uh, the inner city or uh, doesn't drive necessarily that far, although it could, it gets a full charge in about a little over nine hours. A full charge, and it gets about about 90 miles of a charge in about 30 minutes. So it's it's pretty freaking cool. I like the design. I, I like it because it's simple, it's clean, and uh, the interior is kind of funky, futuristic, and it parks literally 
anywhere. Because it's super tiny. And that's pretty much all I have to say about the Bolt. It's a cool car. And, and um, if you're looking for a tiny car, I would recommend it. You know, I, I like it better than the, uh, the Nissan, whatever that Nissan one is. Okay, the last thing. The last thing I want to focus on is this. This is a box. You can't really see them. These guys, these guys right here sent me this box and it's got something cool in it. And I'm going to open it right here, right now. guys monkey fingers adjustable bungee cords you guys know what a bungee cord is right i mean you're not living under a rock or something these are adjustable supposedly i don't know maybe maybe not but let's find out there's the business card sean check it out buddy your name's on screen these are adjustable bungee cords this is the packaging looks pretty slick Pretty awesome looking. How is that? How is that possible that it can adjust like that? This, there's this. Maybe I should put my glasses on. So I guess you can, you can hook it on something. Obviously, you know, uh, if you really want to show this in its best light, you got to have something to hook it onto. And I don't really have anything at the moment. Now, what I like about it is the quality is really good. Everything looks really awesome on it. I just don't necessarily know how it works. One size fits all. <laughs> they always say that. Adjust hooks to desired length. Loop remaining cord into open hook. So adjust hooks to desired length. That's their desired length. Should have something to hook in there. All I got is a freaking hundred dollar bill wallet. That reminds me, I have to give that away. Somebody is going to get a hundred dollar bill wallet soon. It says you can go from six, six inches to 60 inches. And I figured it out. So basically, if you got something that you're hooking together that's really short, you got these hooks, see? And you can hook this with something really short, six inches if you want to. And then these loop around and the extras and they fit into these little extra loops here. But then you got a little bit of stuff hanging. After further inspection with these monkey things, this is probably one of the coolest inventions I've seen in a long time. You can hook it from six inches to 60 inches, so it's adjustable. It's, it's exactly what it says. It's an adjustable bungee cord. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And, uh, and I can use this. I can use this in pretty much anything and everything I do, including the bikes. I don't know what they cost. Uh, you're gonna have to ask Sean about that. Uh, look them up online. Maybe they're on Amazon, something like that. But you gotta get a pair of these. These are freaking cool. No, I'm not giving these. These are mine. These are mine. I'm keeping these. I'm not giving these away. These are mine. All right, that's it, people. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to pick up our new vintage trailer coloring book because that is the freaking coolest coloring book on the planet. It may not be as cool as these monkey fingers, you know, but at least I know how to open the book. But if you want to know more about it, you can talk to Sean. There's his business card. There's his number. 